Let's do some marginal analysis with a profit function. So here we're given the monthly profit for a condo leasing company is this P of X. So we know how they got the profit function. We should know this formula. Profit is always their revenue minus their cost, and then they distributed. That's how we get this profit function. And we want to calculate the actual profit realized from renting that 81st condo, assuming the 80 others have been rented out as well. So actual profit, you plug in the number you want minus the number before. So we want to know the 81st. So we're going to do P of 81 minus P of 80. Just like actual cost, but now we're doing actual profit Plug the number you want to know minus the number before. And we're going to plug into this big long equation up here. It's going to take a little bit. Grab your calculator, negative 10 times 81 squared plus 1950 times 81 minus 70,000. You should get $22,340. That is the profit from all 81 condos minus, let's find the total profit from 80. So we're going to take 80 and plug it in, negative 10 times 80 squared plus 1950 times 80 minus 70,000. The total profit from 80 condos is 22,000 even. So the difference between these two is $340. So interpreting that actual profit, it's $340 says the monthly actual profit from renting just the 81st condo is $340. So just leasing or renting that 81st condo gives them $340 that month in profit. So now let's compare to our shortcut method. Let's see how this compares to marginal profit when we plug in 80. Do we get the same results or does marginal analysis only work for cost or something like that? So we're going to compare it to the marginal profit and plug in 80 because we want to remember marginal approximates actual for the next unit. So plugging in 80 is going to estimate the profit from the 81st condo being rented out. So first we need to find marginal profit. So marginal means take the derivative. So we're going to do P prime of X. And so we're going to take the derivative of the profit function. So I'm going to bring down the power. Negative 10 times 2 is going to give me negative 20 x. Derivative of 1950x is going to be 1950. And derivative of negative 70,000 is just going to give me 0. So I'm going to plug in p prime of 80 to answer this problem. So negative 20 times 80 plus 1950, way faster to have to plug into than the entire profit function twice. So definitely prefer the shortcut method. But I get 350. So that says the approximate marginal approximates actual so the approximate actual profit normally from selling when it's profit but for this it's from renting so from renting the 80 first condo is $350 so we just said that the monthly profit is actually $340 from our actual profit. And then marginal approximates actual. So we're getting $350 each month with our approximation. Is that a huge deal? Not really. They're making over $22,000 a month right now. So this $10 difference, if they dropped a $10 bill and it went flying in the wind, they would not be chasing it when they make $22,000 a month. So this is just to show you that marginal approximates actual. It might not be perfect all the time, but it should be pretty close. This one's off by $10, but it's not a huge deal because they're making $22,000 a month. So they're not worrying about this $10 difference. So remember, marginal approximates actual, so the approximate actual, and you could even say monthly profit 
since that's what this is, from renting the 81st condo is $350. So pretty close and a lot faster to have to calculate. 